34-year-old man is behind bars for fatally shooting a 25-year-old woman. During the early morning hours of Thursday, the 7th of September, authorities responded to the 2000 block of Wheaton Avenue in Millville, New Jersey on reports of shots fired. When officers arrived, they found Chanel Stewart of Vineland deceased in a vehicle with a gunshot wound to her head. Authorities identified Alex Blocker of Bridgeton as the suspect. He was arrested later that day and charged with first-degree murder and two second-degree weapons possession charges. Authorities said surveillance footage recovered by investigators showed a vehicle resembling Alex's following Chanel in close proximity just minutes before the shooting. In addition, police said Alex lied about where he was when Chanel was killed. Investigators said that Alex told him he was not where he was during the time of the incident. Alex remains at the Cumberland County Jail without bond. The motive on how Alex and the victim may have known each other is unclear, as the investigation into the matter continues. A 42-year-old mother is behind bars and is charged with felony child neglect. Authorities said that Kelly McGriff Williams refused to allow a nine-year-old daughter to leave their home at 12725 Southwest 95th Court in Miami, Florida since 2017 and was confined to a bedroom most of that time. Kelly did not enroll her in school and never provided her with an education and the girl was unable to read and write. Kelly declined to take her daughter to a doctor even when she was very ill. The girl would have to beg to eat and Kelly would not always provide food for her. An officer responded to the home after the Florida Department of Children and Families investigated the allegations. On the 26th of August, Kelly was involuntarily admitted to the Jackson South Hospital under the Baker Act due to her altered mental state, and the child was taken to police custody. On the 30th of August, police interviewed the victim at her father's residence, and she confirmed the allegations. The victim's father also confirmed the allegations, and said he's been trying to get legal custody of his daughter for the past five years. The Miami Child Protective Team concluded that the child suffered instances of child neglect, medical neglect, mental injury and educational neglect. Kelly was arrested on the 1st of September and she was being discharged from hospital. She's at the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center on child neglect charges when she's held on a $5,000 bond. Police are investigating after a 25-year-old woman was fatally shot in her car. At just before 11pm on Thursday the 7th of September, authorities responded to the area of Fleming and Falk Avenues in the Brighton Heights neighbourhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, after receiving a shot spotter alert for 12 rounds fired. When first responders arrived, they found a woman in a critical condition after being shot multiple times while sitting in the driver's seat of a vehicle. Medics transported her to a local hospital, where she succumbed to her injuries at 11.30pm. The medical examiner identified the victim as 25-year-old Denisha Lighty, Investigators said that Denisha was in her car when a shooter approached her on foot and fired shots inside before fleeing the scene. No arrests have been made to date, and the motive of the attack is unclear as the investigation into the matter continues. A man is behind bars after repeatedly trading vapes with a minor in exchange for sex and nude photos. 21-year-old Taven Powell met with a 13-year-old girl in Bismarck, North Dakota on four occasions between the 1st of March and the 14th of July this year. On each occasion, Taven reportedly had sexual contact with the girl in exchange for vape products. Taven also used the social media app Snapchat to obtain nude photos of the girl. Authorities discovered Taven's identity after the girl's parents brought a phone to the Bismarck Police in mid-July. A data extraction revealed messages on the app from a user named Police said they were able to positively identify as belonging to Taven. The girl told investigators that Taven knew that she was 13 because she told him, but she did not think he cared. She said that Taven told her he could provide her with vapes in exchange for sex acts and nude pictures. Taven then would send her explicit images of himself. On Wednesday the 6th of September, Taven was arrested at his workplace about 80 miles away in Beulah. He is charged with four counts of gross sexual imposition where a victim is younger than 15, patronising a minor for commercial sexual activity, contributing to the deprivation or delinquency of a minor, luring a minor by means of a computer or other electronic means, and indecent exposure. He is held at the Burley Morton Detention Centre on a $20,000 cash-only bond, on a condition he must have no contact with the victim, 